Hi Bruce from Safari and what we're looking at here today are two uh, permanent magnet generators. We're going to call them alternators because generator will spook the market a bit but these are high efficiency 85% as a minimum and this one here will do uh, 10 kilowatts at 48 volts 240 amps this one here 250 amps is the bigger of the two of them they're slightly different mounts here. Uh, what a hybrid alternator is, is that the back of it here that you can see and why I'm focusing on it is because it's an inverter controller. There are no diodes in here and it's not like a, a remote regulator like a wake speed. This is high technology here and this is the same concept that's on an EV uh, but it's in generation mode. And so if I spin it towards the front here, you can see it's got the traditional pulley on it. This particular unit, the frame here, matches exactly a sprinter, and we'll go on to the second mount of a sprinter exactly. It's putting out a total of 10 kilowatts. And the design of this is that the rotor, the spinning rotor, is just permanent magnets only on the rotor. The stator, that's the outside case here, has got permanent magnets as well, but it's aided by uh, some field current on it to get better output at idle. Now I'm going to take this big brother away and show you a little bit more about how we're going to control this. Now what we're showing here is our new Scotty AI, calling it V3 for 2025. The reason why we call it V3 is it has three CAN ports. One CAN port's used internally, the second one goes to Victron and the battery if you've got a CAN connected battery, and the third CAN port comes over to the synchronous alternator. It means we can drive this unit, we've added another stack of software in here, we can drive this unit independently to driving the 48 volt output here. Now there's about 10 different combinations here of uh, power. Let me step through a couple of them. Let's say that this is on a 12 to 48 volt and you've got a different 48 volt system in your truck than you do in the towed caravan or the towed trailer. Uh, this 48 volt here can charge the technology in the truck and this unit here can charge the technology in the towed caravan or the trailer. Now the big advantage as well of having them totally independent is that uh, they can be at totally different states of charge in either and you can drive them uh, totally independently. So this one here we drive on our app and this one here can be controlled uh, based on the charge current limit of the uh, battery in the towed unit to give maximum power um, going through. So the another combination we can have here is we can join the 48 volts up and have just 12 volt coming out of this side totally independent to the starter motor starter and the uh, starting battery and this will give 12 volt now without any battery attached internally inside here now we have a pre-charge mode that charges the low side and allows it to continue to run without a 12 volt battery connected to it. Now if this is a 24 to 48 volt unit then you've got 24 volts uh, pouring out of here as well as 48 out of here. So you've got 48, you can have 48, a different 48 here, you can have 12 or 24 uh, coming out of here at the same time. Now if you join the two of them together then you're going to get the 3 kilowatts out of the Scotty plus the max power that you're getting out of the synchronous unit. Let's say with high temperature you can only get 7 kilowatts, then between the two you're still getting 10 kilowatts coming out, which is why we're saying we've got a 10 kilowatt combination here. Now it may be that you don't need 3 kilowatts, so we still have the 1500. It is now already available in the V3 mode. It has a third CAN port coming out of here, out of the harness, and it can also drive it in the same way. So at a much lower price, this combination here is going to give you maximum 48 volt charging and this is going to give you a 1500 watts at 12 volts which will meet most applications in a vehicle. In the marine market with the winches and other loads it may be that you need the 3 kilowatt unit. So for 2025 now we have a new Scotty, new Scotty range and we've got what I consider to be the holy grail where we've got high efficiency uh, synchronous units to drive the power. How good's that?